what is up need for speed racers it is i your wheel man alex cornut we're here today with the a plus meta cars for racing we've got drag we got drift out of the way let's show you these saucy builds for the fastest lap times around the need for speed world i have got a list compiled that we have been working on for the last forever it feels like since the game came out we've been keeping track of our lap times in the coordinate crew for quite a while basically since the start of the game so this is the culmination of over a year's worth of work and all of these guys are crazy fast a little bit of coordinate lore you'll say that nil kappa is always right the guy said that industrial action was in a plus class it's not so he said a 69 420 because nil kappa is the only one that could ever do it so there was an argument there and it was funny because nil was totally right so it stays even though there is no industrial action at a plus because nil told him there wasn't but the boys were like yeah huh, it's there um, the other side of that is Neil's got a couple other down here skyline sprint straight fire um, Also, let it whip. Those are all speed tracks Neil Kappa is notorious for being the man in the garage and not ever setting lap times So he went after all the speed tracks and we refuse to update them So even if you beat them by a sec couple of tenths or a second or whatever We're not gonna update it on my crew records because that's part of the lore because Neil Kappa Needs to hold more records than I do because that's fun so that's the case. That's what's up there. The rest of these are all legit. They're omega fast and do the best you can to keep up. If you're within 10 seconds of these times, you're on one. That's the best way I can put that. But we're going to focus right now on these two by Ben DL. We've got Hypnotize and Terradome. We're going to start with the Hypnotize build and then we're going to do the Terradome build right after that. These are off-road builds for the Rumble Buddies. If you guys want to go play in the dirt, this is the setup for that. So let me show it to you. And the chassis is almost the same between the two. So once you set up the first car, you've almost already got the build for the second car. It's really cool. So let's get into it. Shout out to Surfy, OMG Surfy. He does the raps or Surfy raps. He's got like three names, but he does a really good job on the raps. And I'm super thankful to have him doing those. So this is one that I picked up off of him. Uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. So the performance, the engine that we're going to use on the Hypnotize build is the first engine over. It is the 4.9 liter V8, 290 brake horsepower when we start. That is the Iron Basic engine. For the parts, you're going to go Silver Pro Induction, Iron Basic ECU, Elite Platinum Fuel System, and Super Gold Exhaust. You're going to do an Elite Platinum Roots Supercharger, no nitrous, Elite Platinum Off-Road Suspension, no brakes, and then you're going to do Super Gold Off-Road Tires. Typically, I would get better tires on it, but this is the car that broke the record, not the build that Cornet would bring you. There is a difference because I'm showing you the cars that set the times, and then it's up to you to make them work. We do use the Elite Platinum Clutch because that's what comes in the car, and then you're going to down tier the transmission. You're going to put in a Silver Pro 6 speed transmission to make it all fit. Elite Platinum Diff, absolutely, you need that so you can use your handling slider. And then Auxiliary is Drift and Grip for your micro drifts around Hypnotize. 20% drift is the build for this, so slide it all the way to the right. You're going to be sliding this one around. Steering sensitivity is your preference. Downforce, last two clicks. That's where it fits. That's where you need to be. Track control off, drift, entry, brake, tap. What that does is it sets you up for a short track slayer. 133 is the top speed. It does about 135 with Redline Tech. 756 on the horsepower, 691 on the torque. It is super, super fast when you are slaying on those Rumble playlists. So that was the Hypnotize R8. Let me show you the one that he uses for Terradome. Ben DL uh, is one of the only guys really going after those times. All you do is this. Go buy the 6.2 liter V8. It's the third engine over. It is the Pro Silver 707 brake horsepower when we start. And that's also where we finish. We do nothing with the engine other than we go and we put on a Super Gold Roots Supercharger. So grab the Roots Supercharger, stick it on there. That's it. Engine's done. Don't buy anything else. You are going to go and you're going to tear up your tires. You're going to put on Elite Platinum off-road tires. And then you're going to change your transmission to the 7 speed, which is the stock Super Gold transmission. Now you have the build for uh, <clears throat> Terradome. You're going to keep the differential the same. Keep the rest of your aux on there. And what that does is give you a handling slider, 20% drift, steering sensitivity, whatever, downforce, last two clicks same kind of deal traction full off drift engine brake tap this gives you a higher top speed so it'll do about 155 with redline tech 707 is your horsepower 649 is your torque all we've done is switch engines to give you a little bit more top speed and also switch transmissions and that makes it a very good car for Terradome. the other one was set up for hypnotize and that is your off-road builds for the r8 this car slays in both a plus 
and S, and so you're gonna see a lot of it. Let's move on to some Testarossa builds. All right, buckle up boys, we got Testarossas to talk about. All of these builds are already on various channels, whether it be slides or mine or old videos. Like we've, the Testarossa is a tired car, but a lot of you guys are new. You just picked the game up on Steam sale, so let me introduce you to it. The first builds I'm gonna show you is the ones that Neil Kappa's got set here. It is the top speed build. This is the one you wanna run on straight fire. This is the one you wanna run on uh, Skyline Sprint. Basically anything where it's just a straight highway track in A+, this will walk all of them because it goes like 215 with a three bar of boost at the big end, you can get up to like 225 and then it creeps down from there. This thing is fast, but it doesn't accelerate hard. You gotta build up your speed, but it, it goes. So the engine that we use on this Rosa is the 4.9 liter V8, 225 brake horsepower when we start and we go up a ways from there. You are gonna do Elite Platinum Induction, Super Gold ECU, Sport Bronze fuel system, and then Iron Basic Exhaust. Elite Platinum Century, we're chasing top speed, so you're gonna struggle with this car on most of the other tracks because it doesn't accelerate, it's a momentum car. No uh, nitrous, you're gonna do Elite Platinum Road Suspension, no brakes, and then Elite Platinum Grip Tires because it's an old build and we're gripping out here for the top speeds. You're gonna run just the standard clutch and then you are gonna tear down to the Sport Bronze four speed transmission. Most people will get to this part, they'll see that it's bronze, they'll leave it at the five speed, then they'll be in the comments like, oh, car not the build doesn't work, I can't follow instructions. I only watch the videos on mute and I pause it so I can get the build because I can't be bothered to watch. All right, and then you're gonna do the Elite Platinum Diff all the way, grip, it's a full Beyonce build, and then drift and grip so you can micro drift. 100% to the left, to the left, full Beyonce. We are all the way gripping on this boy right here. Steering sensitivity is whatever. Downforce, one click from all the way low. So you're gonna go all the way left, back it off one. That is A plus 269. Traction control off, drift, entry, brake, tap. This is the fast Rosa. It is the top speed king. We have not dethroned it yet. 770 on the horsepower, 887 on the torque. It says it does 208 with Redline Tech. You're well into like the 215 areas. Uh, it goes, you will walk everybody. This is a cheat code for the speed races, but that's where it belongs. If you drive this car on some of the other tracks, you are gonna struggle and you're gonna wonder why. So this is why we say you probably need to have like five Testarossas in your garage because there's B, a three at a plus and then a case could be made for having one at s if you wanted to so honestly buy some roses let me show you the next one the next rosa we have in the stack is another one for the grippy boys it is pretty good i'm not exactly sure which records is held by which rosa so i'm going to give you the fast one the grip one the drift one you guys figure out which one works best for your driving style. But we want to get the grippy boys in there because still a lot of you guys out there. The engine we use is once again the 4.9 liter V8. That is the Rosa motor. It's not really the Rosa motor, but it's the one we use in all the builds. For the parts, it is Silver Pro induction, ECU, and fuel system. You're going to go Super Gold exhaust and Super Gold screw supercharger. Make sure you slam that in there. Elite Platinum road suspension, stock brakes, Elite Platinum grip tires for my grippy boys. Stock clutch, four speed transmission. Once again, don't mess this up. If you have the five speed, it doesn't fit. You're going to be like, Hornet, it's S290. It doesn't fit. You're an idiot. No, dog. Four speed, it works. Trust. All right, Elite Platinum Diff, you need it so that way you can get that handling slider going. Auxiliaries, drift, and grip as we do. 95% grip is where it fits the best. You can't go 100, it doesn't work, so just tear it back to 95. And then downforce is two clicks from the right of center, so you go one, two, and that is A plus 269. Traction control off, drift, entry, brake, tap. This is an older build, but it holds up. It does really good. It, you can get plenty of really good lap times with this car, and it was by definition meta for a very long time. 725 on the horsepower, 865 for your torque. It definitely gets it done. It says it does 176. You'll get up above 180 with Redline Tech. If you don't know what that is, I'll link it at the end of this video on how to go learn what Redline Tech does. All right, let me show you the drift version of this car. Last one in the stack is the drift Rosa. This is what Slide, Seike, Hex, Siwoo, a lot of these guys are using now. If you are drifting, it is very fast. It is a very good build. 
The engine that we use is once again the 4.9 liter V8. The parts is Super Gold Induction Iron Basic ECU Super Gold Fuel System and Elite Platinum Exhaust. Elite Platinum Single Turbo. That is the deal here. It gives it a well-rounded experience. You've got good top speed and you've got enough on the bottom end that when you're drifting, it really carries out of the corners quite well. Regular Nitrous Elite Platinum Regular Suspension. Once again, probably not how I would have built it, but I also can't drive as fast as these guys do, so that's what the build was used to go zoom. We use stock brakes and then Elite Platinum Drift tires. You are gonna use a stock clutch, and then once again, Sport Bronze four-speed transmission. Make sure you put that in there, otherwise it doesn't fit. Elite Platinum Diff, you definitely want it. That way you can slide the slider to the right. Auxiliary Drift and Grip like we do for the micro drifts. Slide the slider all the way to the right, 40% drift. That is the setup for the Rosa. Make sure that if you are drifting, this is how you do it. If you're a gripper, use the other build. Otherwise, you'll be struggle busting with this one. Steering sensitivity does not matter. Downforce is a few different clicks right there. So basically go two clicks to the right of center, and then you have the rest of the bar right there. So kind of do whatever feels best for you. Traction control off, drift entry, brake tap. That is the Drift Arosa. It'll go a little bit above 200 when you get there, 760 for your horsepower, and 857 on your torque. It is basically very similar to what we just showed you for the grip one, but because when we slide the slider to the right, you have more points to play with. It's got more horsepower with the single turbo, and it is very fast around the tracks. So definitely a big shout out to Slide and the other guys that use this and build this because it is very, very good. And shout out to Surfy for the cool ass wrap. That's another one of his. All right. Let's move back and get in the R8 and I'll show you. This As you can see on screen, the Audi R8 is all over this leaderboard. So we've got five of them there, another one here, two more there, uh, and then three more at the bottom. Bendiel, we've showed you the two off-road builds there. So we're going to now cover the other two Drifty Boy crazy R8 builds. <sighs> this car just is busted. It's so good at handling. So I have two for you. Um, I couldn't tell you which build was used for which track so I'm just gonna give you both of them and then you build the one you're most comfortable with good luck boys all right the engine that we're gonna use in the first build is the 4.9 liter v8 odd we see that one a lot it seems to be a very popular engine the parts that we use is elite platinum induction iron basic ECU and fuel system super gold exhaust and super gold roots supercharger you're gonna use stock nitrous elite platinum road suspension stock brakes and then elite platinum drift tires Elite Platinum Clutch, but that is stock. And then you are going to do the Elite Platinum 8-speed transmission. Elite Platinum Diff, that way you get the most out of the handling slider because we're going full Drifty Boy on this one. And then Auxiliary is Drift and Grip. Good luck, man. I'm not a drifter, but this is the builds that go zoom. 40% drift. Slide the slider all the way to the right. That's where you need to be. Steering sensitivity. I run two clicks high. You do you, Pikachu. Downforce all the way high. There's like a couple of clicks there. It's like the last three. That's where it all fits. Everything else will take you out of the class. So... Find a good spot for your downforce, set it, forget it, enjoy. Track control off, drift entry, brake tap, gas tap, you do you, Pikachu. That's the 4.9 liter. It's 576 on the horsepower, 541 on the torque. It'll do about a buck 80. It's pretty decent. I think the other engine is better for the short track. This is a little bit better for the more straightaway speed focused tracks. All right, let me show you the second setup. You're going to go over and you're going to grab the engine, which is the 6.2 liter V8. It has 707 brake horsepower when we start. It's got a little more power than the previous build, so I think that's why it's better used on the short, tight tracks, because it's naturally aspirated. You're going to do Silver Pro Induction, Silver Pro ECU, Super Gold Fuel System, and Silver Pro Exhaust. You're going to do Iron Basic, naturally aspirated, no forced induction of any kind, Sport Bronze Nitrous, and then you're going to go Elite Platinum Road Suspension, Stock Brakes, Elite Platinum Drift Tires, Stock Clutch, and then the Elite Platinum 8-Speed Transmission once again, and then the Elite Platinum Diff. Auxiliary stay the same, 40% drift, and you can back off your slider a couple extra spots. You need to be at least one click to the right of center to make it all fit. And that is going to be the V8 build for this car. It gives you 590 on the horsepower, 546 on the torque, a little bit slower top speed, but a little more grunt in the corners. So depending on what track you're on, this engine might be a little bit better than the 4.9 liter V8. But for most of us, I would say build one of the two, settle in, get good at it. And when you're chasing tenths, maybe switch up the build for the different engine. But that's kind of where I would fall myself because most of us can't get within 10 seconds of these times so just find a car that works for you don't spend a ton of money on multiple builds and just uh get in there and get going 
Testarossa, realistically, you probably need to have five. But for the R8 in A plus class, because they are similar, probably pick one and just run with it. All right, let me show you a Rexon's RS or the S5. One asterisk I do need to put on all of these times is they're fluid. They get updated faster and faster. I've got probably 10 or 15 entries that need to be put on this spreadsheet that I've not got to yet. So that being said, like Buena Vista, we've got a faster time than that. Colossus, we've got a faster time than that. Um, I know road tripping is down to like a 337 or 347, 347. And so much of these records have been beaten recently, but I haven't put it on this spreadsheet for all of you guys to see. So if you want an updated spreadsheet, come to the Discord, uh, message somebody, we'll give you affiliated as a friend, and then you'll be able to see the lap times uh, spreadsheet that we all have. But regardless, the builds are all still good, so let me show you what we have for a Rexon's Audi S5 Sportback. The engine that we use in this build is the second engine over. It is the 3.0 liter V6, 349 brake horsepower when we start. For the parts, it is super gold induction, sport bronze ECU, elite platinum fuel system, and then sport bronze exhaust, elite platinum roots supercharger, no nitrous, elite platinum road suspension, no brakes, elite platinum drift tires. You are gonna run the super gold clutch, which is stock. And then you're gonna run the Silver Pro six-speed transmission. Make sure you tear down from the Elite Platinum, otherwise it won't fit. You are gonna run the Elite Platinum diff and then auxiliaries drift and grip like we always do. For the handling, slide the slider all the way to the right. You are running 60% drift. Steering sensitivity is two clicks high. Downforce is also two clicks high. Everything else doesn't fit. So you can go further to the right, but not less. So I would put it right there. Trash control off, drift enter, brake tap. That is the custom S5 Sportback. 190 is going to be your top speed when you get there. It takes a little bit of momentum to go. 554 on the horsepower, 551 on the torque. It is a very balanced car. It is very fast. Shout out to Rexon for giving this to me. A lot of the other guys use it too. So um, many of the Cornut crew all work on these cars. And when they set a lap time, I try to get those builds from so that way I can give you guys up to date stuff. I do apologize for not having my lap time spreadsheet super up to date it occurred to me after i'd already shooted all the videos like mm, some of those are a little old we're like 15 seconds faster than that but oh well <laughs> uh you get what you get we don't throw a fit all right guys uh thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate all of you i don't have a channel without viewers thank you so much you guys have a great rest of your day we'll see you next time Bye bye